Eliemu ye njini nkwa niliza nyona tenze Efraim kwa lusimbi. Avantu wa feyabali kumisaru ya Uganda ne Kongo. Batu gamba nti avantu wa mu Uganda vya yonge de. Atenga ukuru daruli. Aba ba M23 buchabe fuka na majega government ya Kongo. Aba sasifa feyabali vya avantu umuwe. Aba li umuwe tavu uwe mele. Vikoze sebwa ibia mangungu. Oseko na wakusula. Wetuwa gaida angabanji bata anseda ukunonya weba nasula kumbala za zomu vibuga uh, nebitunde bilala ebilila nyeo. Tutege denti muna kunyazi okai za kaitaba ntuwa mtuwa lugumumu lusamvu mungkaga weba kadu kwa kuwa mkongo kudamu Uganda. Eno yensaro yebu nagana nga yesu de kilomita nga kuminatano okuwa mtauni ye kisoro. Ebi kumine ebi kumibia wa kongo vicha agena muma sono kwe soga Uganda nga katia bantu bata anse kusula kumbala za kone mutsawe cyo mupira ekiriranye ensaleno turukurara hangaha abasambo bakaza kugomba kwiba nkutundu tw'umuntu afite ta mibereho myiza dufite muri iki gihe imibereho ntayo urukura uko turyamwe turaraga ibiryo ntabyo n'ukubera aho ngaho uri kumba kongo yabaye nabe none si twakora iki embera abantu bano jibali mu nzibuddala te bali nawe bacamira kweyamba Amazi gakekua, songa nebi okulia na vio bawa mabi wa me. Yomu nkambi ye nyakabande, abasinga weba tukira, katieri yaba kongo, omutuwa logumumu kakaga, wabula angamutisera chino, omuendo guwaba ingira bulirunaku, gugenze gukendera, okuwa kulukumi. na sivili ya ni eno ne wakubadde mbere eri yadde yadde ko okusinga kuyabali abali ebunagana endisa ya abantu bano echali nzibu pitiri wa kaunga uh, bijanjalo uh, kaupiz nebuto enku tulina nyinji amazi gege tutalina na yetu geza ko kulaba anti police tuyamba ne tanka yayo tubirenga tufuna amazi buli nako olwo bunji no mugotte ko gwebalimu Enduwa dezitali zimu na zuza atanse doku kuba kodi mubantuba no. Chigambi wantu walu waba nonyi wabuda mabalala haba itile kasese oruva nyumano kurana gana okunye nyitila okumpi na kabuga kegoma. Haba yekiraba M23 oruwa aleroba wambi akabuga kerumangabo era chino chile tedo mkulembeza wa Democratic Republic of Congo Okula gira majege guangeri, okufubo okulaba, ngagatu alaba yekiraba no entiaji. Avantu wa febachi aliyolo dolo, tuja kuwa tukuwa uh, ebidala, ebina ababi gudeo, nabiyo yongereyo kubitegeira. Ukudako kubidala, uh, mu chitebeleze wanti muguanga ya South Sudan, uh, mulimu wa na Uganda ya mituwa lejiri wakati uomu nana nekumi, haba kule layo. Haba guida bala na boba liyo mituwa longa, E, tano kutuali za wamu. Banji kwa na Uganda bali mguwange liyo mungeri e, menya amateka. Wabula government ya lagida, ya, ya bala gira biwandi sebafune visa nebi ya lebi gende lako kusabula kubanga bakola na watali kubata ataganya. Banji kwa na Uganda na dala bali minimu emi tono tono balu denga abe sisigiriza kumsongeno chokai chitebe cha Uganda e, rudeyo uh, cha, cha, cha kubiliza abantuba na ukuongeda ukwe wandisa. E, cha vudeko ne government ya South Sudan ukuongeza e, chitela cha abaguida Ukwe wandiso, laba na Uganda, laba na abamu, laba chesigiriza. Musa Sudan, masa za gwane kumi. Muna Uganda, mungu chukumi yekaya, abela kula mungu mungu chukugu. Aba se gadebali mboda boda, kufumba mele, okutunda airtime, okani kebiduka, okufuga taxi, okutunda mbutale, okuchima amazi, nebila lefana kubwe bicho. Banji tabe wandisanga, wade government ezeba labula. Aba kulu chitabe cha Uganda, South Sudan, omwezo kuwe dewa sawa government ya kiliza chitabe chino, chifune guandisizo, ba na Uganda ba nguirwe, na ya ba jia, ba chali ba tono. Ba ba kuila ba langa wa ve Kenya, Eritrea, Kongo na Ethiopia, ba maze doke guandisa. Kuruno, chiri very expensive unyo, chinti siza no kuntisa. Kubanga sente zenge ndo kufurumia, nzisti deno kuzitia. Sente ziva denyi nyinyo, sinzira kone ima vega chituwa detuwa, chukumunsa mfune vazidusa. So that's why they allow us to give those certificates of identity here. 
so that people have a year in which they can then now go to Kampala and process valid passports. Okusinza ku brigade ya Madoti akulia bino byonna atagade kuleka ku kamera echikwe ku eto chigenda kutandika nge ishira chibayongeza yo kuandisa chiweddeko ngabiri mulumu mwezi guno abagwira batayina biwandiko bitongole bakutwalira mu kamera obo kuzibwaye babo kumpaka buli ali mu Sudan abaze kola erate kwa mtu boba subira ntwe mtu asobola kusasula sen kati yo government chagenda maso no kuandisa abantu era umulanga ku nchago kubira abantu bana Uganda bonna bali mu ne bagamba banange byoku byembadde mu roze byokusaga ngiveko aba tugamba lusasule mwaka lusobolo okunonyo banku mipili obalu 10 lusobolo zenu yani tuzinonya ne bizibawa tubera safe omwaka ne kugwa kone tuwo mulala ne kati bino tubiwadde ne tumange bijja kukira kizwa kufuna mauli okuva mu bitundu nga konyo konyo abasinga kubera bana Uganda nenga abatayagala kuwa ndi sabagamba ndi sente abasaba nnyingi ndi ne bifo muwandikirwa bitono Okwe wani za chitwala pound za Sudan vina muabiri ngo mtaina passport. Ata waboli na chitwala pound za muabiri. Abiyo kwe nda waga manti ya watu ukwe wandisa. Bewa muku chikosi ya mamenye wama teka. Abiyo kwe se msao Sudan. Yeah, it probably could be that those who think that they have, they may be wanted for criminal activities, may be hiding away from the registration. Awa Sudan ibanji siba sanyufu. Uluwaba gwira ndala ba na Uganda ukwa malake mirimu. Echiwa ni kecha from Israel Minister ya Bakozi mungu kutano. Chala gianta wagwila wako le minu munga boda boda ni taxi. Okufumbe mmele, okwele za kubizime na minu labwe jitio. Bajile kira wa Sudan ni. Echiwa gilo kitano chayi no kutekewa mungu kolo mwezo guwede. Wadenga chayi miride. Banda Uganda, na katipa chayi mungunya kupolisi ya South Sudan. Nga waga mantu mungu wabaya inevi wandeko. Bamutu lugunya. NTV ya kaungezi koti mkampala ila gide road mayor wa kampala ili asiru kwa gasa sule na mkulu wa KCCA Jennifer Msisi senti za kwe seza msangu lukwa gugwa ya muabila nga mlu miliza okutiobole chifocho wa road mayor no kwe zemili mujo na mu KCCA umla mzeri dadi muangusha wa koti mkulu awada babiliba na magezi yensonga za wibazimalide mu KCCA mchifocho okujanga ukuzimalida mubalabi ababiliba no Buchanga bakuwa sibuwa bufuna njibu boku dukanya chibu kakampala moteke diteka woke sisi e. Tebafu na anga kukanya. Ngabuli omwaro wazari wa guru wa mune. Koti chere meduwa kubasarira wo. Nebala gira badeo bakanyi zemo ke sisi e. Koti ereba wada magezi. Ntiensonga zinobasu bolo kuzi malanga banu nya magezi ya malaro. Ngo kukoze samini sitabu na njibu wa kusonga za kampala. Okusingo kuro wole za mkoti. Luku wago. Yali ya wabira musisinga gamanti ya iso rugayu muruchiko luwa kurembera nga wakanye bila gilo biyo luchiko bielusia zewo. Chino musisi ya chiwa kanya nga gamanti luku wagotari na kumutu alamu koti enso nga bali na kuzikuwa samini sitavu nanyi ziwa kukampara. Luku wagera ya yagala koti ya basari lewani ya linobu inzo obusukuru makubwa mune mo kesisi e nga wakanya no musara musisi gwe yebinika. Sakono kutuwa la ofisi ya rodime ya nge ye mikoro. Koti elera gide luku wagokuli ili la musisi nsimbi zako ziseza. Nga chino bali no kutula wansi, baka nye nsimbi lukwa gozali no kumuli ilida. Omula muzabada ulilo musango guno elida di muangusha. Agami enti ya denga bano bali no kukanya kunsonga zabwe. Na ye musisita li waguru wa mateka. Wabula techima nyikidua, obalu kwa ganajuli la mkote singa o kunsonge no. bote bali na buyinza kwejeleza muntu yena okuja ko parliament ya wam kino kidida mauli le okufuluma ngagala ganti akachiko kano kafulumiza alipota na yenga mali poteno ababaka bejeleza saba minister amama mbabazi ne minister Hillary Yonek kale njagala okugumya bana Uganda ate okaka santi fenga a uh, parliament a member ba parliament abaka chiko akanonyeza ku yamafuta ebyo byonna Tuwa, tetuna wa kumaliriza report. A report ati za kuba njizuvu, uh, njizuvu, nga tuna wa kutukeriwa. Musinga, Malta, Bungereza, eh, Dubai, oba United Arab Emirates, eh, eh, Kenya, kwa wanga, chika ya mwanti waliwa company ya wa, ya minister mu, mugambi wanti mwa itamuse, mwa isi wa musente, kutuka kwa account ya minister. Kale, wabatu na wa kutuki, kutuka kwecho kwe gamba tuweza kuandika report kale na urecho echo
Ndiri, chobo kola vila nafe. Imiti ya nao mufuzi wa boda boda kwa atidua la kuba pichi pichi. Ugutu jumu kampala, polise kweze ukulabula na tenga tusembele la julai kuminalumu. Today is the breathtakingly beautiful R&B soul singer Juliana Kanyomozi. A second last born in a family of six children, Juliana was born on the 27th November 1980. Juliana started her career while performing karaoke in different places around Kampala in the early 90s. Juliana, together with Irene Namubiru in their group IJ, did wonders when they released a track album that immediately became a hit. The IJ duo was Juliana's first music collaboration, though an incident of luck since they were brought together after Steve Jean spotted their talent. Juliana Kanyomozi has risen to become one of the biggest music divas in Uganda and East Africa at large. She has won at least 10 Pearl of Africa Music Awards. In 2004, she won Best R&B Artist. In 2005, Most Inspiring Song, Best R&B Single, Best R&B Artist, Best Female Artist and Song of the Year for her song, Mamambire. She has collaborated with Bobby Wine and they came up with tracks like Tatawa Wanayani. Kanyomozi also sang tracks like Say Yes. Juliana Kanyomozi was also a part of the HIV AIDS campaign song called A Little Bit of Love with Ugandan musicians like Kid Fox, Jackie Chandiru, Cindy, Nanduja, Nikki Nola, Peter Miles, Mr. Mosh and Misach Semakula among many others who brought out their best of talent preaching about the dangers of AIDS and the solutions to prevent the killer disease. Her music prowess has also seen her as a judge of Project Fame, a music competition for artists from East Africa. Also, her song, Kanyimbe, became a hit in the gospel world and this truly enmeshed her versatility with all genres of music. Kanyimbe. Juliana is the first cousin to King Oyo of the Toro Kingdom in Uganda, a fact that many people in Uganda do not know. Kanye Mozi's father and King Oyo's father are biological brothers and that she's actually a princess of the Toro Kingdom as well. You come around, you know who had to be pushed to take a step in which she has found pride and happiness. solo cha kutali olwenso nganti ayogera ku sente zali zibulanka nyizibwa mu dwali lero Dr. Omagino yalopye Dr. Edward Dumba mukachikuka parliament 
Akazi dan sente zisoba kombu kade wa siri njiru samfu, tezima nyidua kwa maitili. Obulwa debo muti meda wali buma nyidua ngo wabagaga na yensa njizino. Buku atabuli muntu. Jibufu deko. Edwa liyo liye mulago. Liyate lina busobo zibulongo sabalwa deba mitima. Ngabatu wali wabweru wa guanga. Yensa njizino. Walu wabasobulo kuja njabi wa wane mulago. Wabulo kutuka kuchino. Chava ku presidenti Museveni, okula gilante chitongo lechino, chiwewe sente obumbi buna, mwobu kaderu samvu, zikoze sebo kugulebi uma. Chigambi wanti habaliba kulide duwari lino, gawa kulembiru wa Dr. Edward Dumba. Sente zona tebazi wa yo, ukakana ngobu kadobu soba mulu samvu, tebo manjidua koma itide. Kulide chitongo lechino Dr. Johnny Omagino, agamanti yali ya kulida mulago, ya muli isa kakanja, muyataga njulebi kwa ataku sente zino. There was such an agile, agile, agile exchange of data, trying to extract and to get even mulago. Between the child, and, yes. between the child, the child and, the and the parent. Because uh, yes. the, the child even was even punished in various other ways <laughs> for bringing up this, what, this matter. I was denied the promotion, I was denied the work, very many things, and I was, I was intimidated. Now, now you must pay back. The committee is helping you. Find what happened to this money, 780 million. Majina abade mkachiko ka parlamenti, akalondo lensimbi zomu wa musoro. Ibiongabichi aliawo, akulile chitongo lechiru wanyi samu kenenya, Dr. Kiumu Rapuli. Ategeza ntechimu kuchilete de, uruade wa mkenenya, ukwe yongera. Chivude kubasajja, bata agara kukoze saa. Bupira bugali mpita wa. There needs to be an increase in the number of condoms. But if you look how men are behaving, the men, the men are having, they are listening, they are men having men and women instead of five, you are keeping four. But the one in the rural area is keeping six. But if despite that, the women have actually, the men, even when they have condoms, they are not using them. Apuli ya bade mkachoko ka parlamenta kolondo lensimbi zomu uomu solo. Jate gereza nta bagabi bobu yambi. Bakirizo kudamoku bawa sente. Ezo... Anti yaba data ina ya mumiuka mukuba boda boda zemiti yana. Julius, mbaba alinga mvuzi wa boda boda mpaka ya taxi sangi wa mchivuga che miti yana ya kwa tidane pichile gambi wakuvanga anzibe. Mbaba alinga mvuzi wa boda boda mpaka ya taxi sangi wa mchivuga che miti yana ya kwa tidane pichile gambi wakuvanga anzibe. Mbaba alinga mvuzi wa boda boda mpaka ya taxi sangi Omwami umufumbi ula manjiki duwako nganse jimana ya liajivuka ya mulebe na yona dukira woku jita polisi ya mkute. Ndereva wa, wa bosa. Navuka gino pichi. Ba, navuka gino pichi wa ajinjako ajitunda. Ajitunze, ajitunda no murara. Na njikore chingu mungamje njikute wano kugundi kukatari. Na ye umusajanga amje angamje kwa ajiguze no murara. Na yesi manji. Na njini pichi pichi ya kubu chualabi ya tegeze zanga pichi pichi eno weyabi wa kumukozi kwa yaliyaju wa kuno nye nsimbi. Ate mbu na ababi bageza ako nyo wa kujuchi usemfana na yayo. Baba ali mkugeza ako kuetasa. Alumirizo muami ya tegele kesekeli ya Mike nga makani kaweka sana. Nti ya jimuguza nga tamanyi nti nzibe. Ate hivyo nga bichari yao. Nti sebuti kidechalo chena vitete chisangi wa mgombola ye chikandwa emitiana. Aba tuza eba sanze muna wenga fili de mmuli yango. Charles Tevima Nyirwa nga wamiaka makumi ya na ya sangi duanga mfu elaba dea kasenga mchitundu chino emyeze tano ejiise. Baba dewa ni sawa kumi na pigi hao. Efikira, fwa ukana, inda kuma gini ina dumu. Ubudu kendo kuzibanga andaba siwa gini mfumye kewe. Uwe wawo, ya chitinta lemu zone 11 wachari yo entisa olomano.
Kitale kumpi ukulirana ne Kampala wakati. Polisi labu denti ya batu juba al-shabab. Nge guanga lina tela okujukira ngapo juweze emiake bili buchaba tujuwa alu shababu bako la obunu baganyi kuba na Uganda mwaka guanku mibili mkumi. Polisi ya tekeze zangapo esini seba sajaba ya benja ulo. Okulaba ngapa fefeta echibuga kukule mesa ebikolo biyaba. Laranga uh, vieta agisa uh, Singila dale vivade tevili muvi ya kweri nda Nevi vivade muvi ya kweri nda na inga tevimala Tuvo ngedeka wa sirika leva fe Okunyeze vio kweri nda Elaba tekeo uh, evyo kweri nda kufo vya awe Mufo avanti wa geno kusenyu kiramu Na evyo vya kore ramu Mungeri ya moyo kulanyiso umenye wa mateka mukampala Polisi ya saze wa kugunja wa polisi posti wa utono tono Na dalam bifo umenye wa mateka wa bisinzo kubeira Chino polisi ya gamati cha kujia mbako kutuka webe yitidua Koku wangu ya milimu jia yeri umutu wabuli jo Ngechigendo ya cha chino kulaba nga basirikale uh, bafuna uh, wako la chetu ita profiling okufuna uh, okuandika uh, evi umenji wa mateko uvera muvifevyo na ingerije uvera mu na haba ntu haba uvera muvifevyo na mirimo jeva kola uluvanyuma batekeo structures of chiko muvifovi no uvaba ntu haba uvera mu haba na kola haba na teme mpenda ne police Okuteka o amagezi ago kurwanyi sa evi kolebe vile mwifevi. Kina jukiru antiabantu wa wera kumu waka gunu bafiri duwa obulambu wa mbiko lebi obu menjibu wa mateka. Ngiru kusinge minu wende mchibuka kampala. Julia Senkandwa, NTV. Wewa wa NTV ya kaunge. Zeri ya mine dachi kabili mbili mwishisa chino tuwa gatu labi ya katale kensimbi. Nga wikabade wane kampala ulo aliru. Katale kensimbi kakutusi wako. URA Development. Vehicles are required to revalidate their registration using our new online. This is NTV. NTV. 
TV. This is NTV. NTV. Simbla or Cosentia. Timu ya Uganda Revenue Authority ya kusimbula kuro kusatura sabite no kore kilechivu gadara salamu cha Tanzania. Jegendo kwe tabamu mpaka za sekafa eza zikilabu. Abaza nyuma kumi ya wili mebaka kasidua kubanga mebaka enda ne timu. Mpaka zine zijibu waka kawuo kuro mkagara sabite no. Wadenga yu ala ea teledua mchivinja a omuli na abatege saba simba. Vita ea kongo nepotse ya jubuti. Omtende si Alex Isabide na abaza nyibe baga ambanti. Eyo sinsonga. Na kubati mwili mwa abaza nyaba pia banji. Na endo zanti. Tujia kula nga uchisovoka. Ila tuko zenga uchisovoka. Tulavenga baku watagana. Chetulo zanti. Uh, chisovose. Vukabo nae vale seba. Samiba na fe. Bete kese vulu unji. Ila bagala kula banga. Tuvayo nga tuliba wanguzi. Samiba na angabuli ya galo kwe. Tundafu vuko le nyetu sovole. Okusambe nyetu lete chikopo. Nabala vana wala vila. Kwa banje ya wavude museka. Famu wala vila kusinga. Mchisela chechimu isabili alangiri dalo bati sento yungu kuchomu miyoka wa kapteni. Gakati ya didi ya samu mubiru amiyoka Simon Masaba. Kwa wala wadenga umtende si isabili asubila ukuzanyisa owe ni kasusida abade mu Vietnamu. Avidi duwa kwa Vincent Kayizi asubili wa ukudayo mubulaya. Ogezi siwa mutimu jata na yatula. URA ya kutandi kempa kazi nunga kumila mkaga. Ngetu nkaneba njini mu abasimba. Samu poza. Right, I'm going to try this and it's not going to be easy. <laughs> Good plan. I'm going to try and not look at them, so I'll start trying again. But everyone that's in the, in the corner over there that's, uh, that's supported me through this, uh, this tournament is always tough and um, we did a great job, so thank you. The support has been, been incredible, so thank you. I was getting asked the other day uh, after I won my, my semi finals, I was like, oh, is this, this your best chance? Uh, you know, Roger's 30 now and he's, uh, <laughs> he's not bad for a 30 year old. He's <laughs> he uh, he played, played a great tournament. I know he had some struggles early on with his back and showed what uh, fight he still has left in him, so congratulations, you deserve it. He's, he's done so well uh, over the years, he's been so consistent and to me it shows that he cares so dearly about tennis, about this tournament and he'll at least win one Grand Slam, so this, uh, this is what I hope for Andy. It equals me with Pete Sampras, who's my hero and uh, it, just, it just feels amazing, so thank you. Yebye mizanyo na vyo buwebitio, buwebi genze wana ikampala utisinzi ida ukuwele za binorale romu sana ugusi vyo guwaka mubitundu webisi inga ubunji tewala visa yo kaboni ronti e, mkuba e, sobolo kutonya mkampala wakati. Tuwa gato la vero na kurenchi anga bruna vera.
Mm, ziki lizebe yo bo bitunu deko so bo de kugera geranya ona ko rencha bo na beera e yo mu kibuga cyo jobera oba mu kitundu cyo jobera mwe bale kubera na fe eliemu e yemu ne kitundu obudde bugenze kantere mve wano sifuka en kongolo ne mbanga lirirye batero geresa ako anti bagamba anti ye kiganira omuddo liba bwa lya mu mutwe musira bulungi bataya mauli ya malagaja ku sawa satu You know what I feel like doing to you Don't waste my time He pushed to take a step in which he has found pride and happiness Every time you come around You know what I feel like doing to you Don't waste my time If you know what I want just give it to me Today we bring you Jackie Chandiru, a former member of the Blue 3 who had to be pushed to take a step in which he has found pride and happiness. Born to a Lugbara father and a Muganda mother, Jackie Chandiru is one of Uganda's leading female R&B artists and vocalists. Jackie kicked off her musical career in 2004 after she emerged as one of the winners for the Coca-Cola Pop Stars. This led to the formation of Blue 3 that became one of the leading girl groups in Uganda and Africa with hit songs like Kakana, Hitaji among many others. <laughs> Jackie did not wish for a solo music career and when the idea was first mooted in October 2009 by the Blue 3 management team Talent 256, Jackie was more than apprehensive to an idea she voted against but lost. However, from the look of things, it is evident that Jackie definitely enjoys the harvest of her solo career with her songs acquiring more airplay and attention. Jackie's solo career started in 2010 when Blue 3 went on leave leading to the girls working on solo projects, thus Jackie releasing Agassi in both Lugbara and English as her first solo in mid-2010. This song has earned recognition and eventually earned her an award as best R&B single in the 2011 Palm Awards. This was followed by several others like I Belong to You, Shamim, Overdose, and Gold Digger. She has also done duets with Dr. Jose Chameleon, Rubber Dabba, Sami from Eritrea, Paul Mutebi of Limit X, Navio, and Fidempa, and so many more artists. Although she's come this far, Jackie has not received everything on a silver platter. At first, it was not easy for radio and TV stations to play her music like they used to when they were still the black ladies from Uganda Blue 3. However, her music is surely catching the waves in East Africa and the rest of Africa.
combination here, y'all. Feel it. The revolution will be televised. Feel me. Hey, Come on. She with shampoos a lot. Several mornings she shampoos my locks. Always have my back, she stand true to that. Real type of loving, thank you for that. Yo, run your foot without the shoes and socks. Cause she keep herself clean, man, I got catch no rush. And she love me for real, man, I feel you have no cash. And any little thing, and from a splish, you splash. Yo, all this blaming is like you forgot. Use cheddar reservate, then you recruit the rat. So we listen, couple speech of Martin Luther chat. Then it's brown Bob Marley and some super cat. Yo, it seems like she live upside the new a shop. Cause she don't have a scratch, it's only beauty spot. When one duty starts, is when one duty Stop. One nine to five, one five to twelve o'clock. You see me?
Welcome to this edition of Who We Are. Last week we were in Mbale, where we found a Jewish community struggling to fight extinction in the remote Navugoye Hills. And today we share in the experience of a people that have for a long time been misunderstood to be fierce. This is because these semi-nomadic herders, the Karamajongs, have not received much exposure. But who are the Karamajongs? In order to understand who they are, let's roll back to the 1600s to trust their origins. The Karamajongs are Nilotic herders who migrated south from Abyssinia, where population explosion made it harder and harder for them to find water and pastures for their animals. They first settled at Mount Apollon, where the Tukana live in present-day Kenya. The group that would become the Karamajong headed west of Mount Apollon to Mount Moroto and later descended into the fertile valley of the Apuli River, where some water stood even in the dry seasons. generation let us spread to occupy Teso and Lango and the elderly people who are too tired to continue stayed behind with their families. Thus the name Karamajong which roughly translates into the tired old man who stayed behind. We travel to the most remote land occupied by the Karamajong, Kabong district. We use the eastern road through Mbale, Soroti and Abim districts. Kabul does not go there, so the only means of transport are trucks that are loaded with cargo at the bottom and passengers on the top. In a beam, we pass through this rather forested hill, which has been a danger zone for many years. The warriors would hide amidst the trees and rocks and attack civilians. Now that the warriors have been disarmed, the area is relatively safe. In fact, some people are coming back and starting to resettle. Further ahead near Beam Trading Center, there are some Karamajong who are at least developed and do not live in Manyatas anymore. Feeding the family and cultivation are roles which are shared between the men and women. Mm -hmm. 
From Abim all the way to Kotido and Kabong, we pass through semi-arid Karamoja that has little or no and thorny shrubs. After about 600 kilometers of travel, we reach our destination, Kabong District, the most remote region of Karamoja. Kabong was recently carved out of Kotido. Despite what we all have been made to believe about the attitude of Karamajongs, the reception we received here is unbelievable. The Karamajongs are very hospitable, kind and pleasant people. Without electricity or piped water and commodities almost double the price, it is indeed very hard to survive. Of Karamajong leaves. <laughs> The Karamajongs are subdivided into clans, and the clans include the Bokora, Gie, Matheniko, and the Dodoth in Kabong, with whom we are going to commune for a few days. When we return, we look at a typical Karamajong Manyata family. Dodoth homesteads are larger than those of other Karamajong and are more isolated from one another and are not built in open spaces. Rather, the homesteads are located at the foothills for protection from strong winds and is also a strategic place in the case of any enemy attacks. Surrounding the homestead, upright poles are thrust into the earth, intertwined with branches and packed with mud and cow dung, forming a sturdy wall with only one or two small openings. As many as 40 people live in one homestead, Each wife has her own heart and fireplace, and adults and girls often build huts of their own next to their mother's huts. Adults and boys also build a larger men's house where they live before marriage. The Karamajong speak a language that sort of sounds like Ateso. <laughs> This is not a surprise as the Karamajongs are close cousins to the Itesots. Among most Karamajong peoples, men living within a homestead are related by descent through male forebearers. The Manyata we visit is headed by Iluka Longolomeo, who has six wives and over 20 children. Iluka lives in this manyata with his six younger brothers and cousins. Thank you.
Even though there is one leader for an entire manyata, the different families in it are headed by husbands who have more than one wife. During our stay at Iluka Longal Mel's Manyata, we witnessed the roles women and men play in maintaining a home. A woman is supposed to feed the family and take care of the general welfare of a home. Whilst the man takes care of cattle together with the younger boys as he grooms and teaches them on how to be good shepherds and pastoralists. <laughs> <laughs> this is Nake, a wife to Losuk, a cousin of Ilukal. She wakes up in the morning and starts preparing food for her family. The step of food for the Karmajongs is sorghum, maize, meat and bulrush millet. It's a green millet grain that is common only here in Karamoja. Since the Karmajongs are found in one of the most remote areas of the country, modern civilization has been rather slow in catching up with them. What more do women do in order to make a little money? We shall unfold that next on Who We Are. As a way of making money to buy beads, bangles and Maasai sheets amongst other necessities, the Karamajong women engage in making a local brew known as pete. The process is same as that of making malwa, the Itisot's local brew. This is incorporated in their daily work and inevitably a big and constant challenge which they face in this semi-arid part of Uganda is that of water. The region experiences more dry seasons and less rainy seasons so the women and girls have to do all they can in order to find any trace of water in this harsh and uncompromising climate. Women and girls travel long kilometers in search of water in the scorching sun.
But it's not only the people who are affected, but also the animals of this pastoral tribe are adversely affected by this scarcity of water. Much of Karamoja is dry, including all the seasonal rivers, with the exception of River Apule in the cradle land. Whilst the women do all these things to try and maintain their families, some men and young boys take the cut off for grazing. Other men stay at home with the elderly ones and spend the entire day sniffing tobacco and generally doing nothing. Children do not go to school and the girls are trained early on how to become good wives who will provide for their families. Bas, you put your totting a belly. I jam up the Rora. And you get jam up the Rora. I am all Rora. Paran again. And then I win at that time I do a look do real. What I bad. Taraman Yope. Look long go gnegg. The Karama Jones live and die for cattle, the determinant of seemingly everything in a pastoral life. <laughs> This is what drives many to live on the edge as nomadic warriors are constantly on the move to find water to increase their hearts to defend their own and to get cattle for dowries. We shall explore the Karamajongs and their nomadic tendencies on the next edition of Who We Are. That's it for this week. Come back from the break and moving on swiftly we go into the summertime party as last week there was the Bahamas party which was the fourth edition and it was definitely crazy because the ladies definitely dressed the impress and the guys they enjoyed the show so take a look at this
Thomas Knight theme party has been a successful one so far. This was the fourth edition and it was just as well attended as the first one. <laughs> Everything is Bahamas. I feel like I'm in the Bahamas. I mean, the look is definitely Bahamas. There's palm trees everywhere. Girls dressed like Bahamas. This is NTV. Now, Raleiro Nina, um, Saja Genda, Octobulida, Ebigambo, Kusin, Obamo, Chisawe, a Chevia, a Chevio, Quest, and Usamo Entertainment, Sawe Chaka Timber, Nebidi, and Gabi, a Yoktualism, Moyimbi, a Chakolecho. I now quiz the two other two Ebigambo, a Yobufuzi, and now quiz the Zait and the Vasoma budget in our Raleiro to a Gatunuli day. Uh, if you can you can entertainment. Um, I'm you know, and now we're going to be able to do it. 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 We're going to be Hey, <laughs> 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 Sifunanga ko simu yonna nge ngama ndwe tagiwa ku police okuleka kufuna simu ezinti satisa zitia oyimbi oliimba olabikoli anti government 
Kari njaku tegera government nawe. Na ye chyo ichaka binti singa simo zari zinyame nga zira genamba na hali wa dena ziku wata. Ya bako bidai na mba tezira vika. Bakweke ya namba tezira vika. Na unga mba katiani. Nangu lusi na mfane mumbera di katimburi lao. Che chukura chiba chavu titis. Mbo ina message ya galo kutusa na ewe kwekele lo mtu. Aha. Kari chila gantino. Mbaba geza ako kuono na chifana incha polisi. Mbwachi ba ntisa tisa ni bata mpite buise. So teli wa polisi ya lea kuise ah. wa CID o ba wa achi? Teli wa polisi ni wa CID ya DC. Ok. Ne ya nabi o gero ambos wa nyimba za angiba ba mbali nze miyake isatu nga si mba. Sina funda gundi yo na yu na kufamu koti. Ulu gambolo na kufawo. Ania atambuzo ulu gambolo. Nga po webuza. Nga po webuza. Na ye, ate gwenze we ni malo kuebuza. Zira keka na ndoza anti chinza kufanga chivaluda wa. Katibano, awalo vika, awalo vika nga tiba gala mfune. Mbasa sanya mauli la gonti waluka gama musibie, ba mbani, zirajia kuhimba. Chitegeza, avera sibido yo mwagizu wange ya alize mulonji. Kwa mwagiza gama tuwa ba mwaganyo kuhimba katia na ayimba vishe. Nzebo endo wazo wango wabu mpano. Mwe Uganda mafias, manye, hava nakatemba na hava imbi, hava de kontrabashu. Kontrabashu, chigambe chichande mamu Uganda. Na inga, Kuli ya uli liza chiba kula. Vawa ina cha alogo uza anga. Aida chimu wagiri oba te chimu wagiri. Uruwe milimu eje jiba jikole. Dolo na sile rimbo uluso ose ululo kubeda controversial in court. Mbali wa mbali wa kutoka mkote. Sijoki na wagenda kwa mkomeda uruwe nyimba. Uruwe nyimba. Tulepuke ni mbuna wa mtembei. Uwayagala kubeda mtu wa antalo kukumba. Chichi. Nenda. Na kubanti nze chizibu chiangi umami walusi. Nesebo. Mti nze. Najo kuhimba. Nga manjina luwa chinzi zo kuhimba. Katinze nina MP. Ata sopo la gena mpali ya mendi na asirika. Ngebido wazo vya afunye mba mulonda. Hali na asirika na atavi kwa la shi. Na atavi na atavi wayo. Eranze siguri vito. Tosa kumpa sente. Toko la chino. Kwa kwa sente chino chileke. Katinze chia mpulira. Obongo kwa angechevule ese. Nga nao chishiga ya no kuyamba wa wagizi bangi. Chenyimba. Nga sifunye muku tia kwa na. Nga siro wazeza kuchina didiri. Haba imbi baka dongo kamu mulu mba gana nyo even from a personal note. Oli gondi ya kola chino. No mulu mba ngoli imba luliku ye. Sinti oshiki ya bilozo vya vantu. Na yengo olu mba muntu specific. Kati ngoli imba luno bako au. Awo lotoko uleke. Sokendu veko. Kati wali kutulepuke. Na imba tulepuke. Na muli mo kwa nini bise la biyo biyo mugenze kafiri walio walio yimba ulo ava wani si gani anga na yeye kafiri yimba kwa nini diku na nini vuma manyo o kama la chini nini kwa chini jaga la mumani nti ande tuliwa yimbi na ande tuliwa hantu o wimbi si guanga nti ne guanga la wimbi tu jitake teri niiga o ba teri yomba nga ba la wimbi yombere yomo wino mo paka na fetu funa mo buta kanya no vaka kumu mbera no kula chini Ngeo roo mtu wabuliji. Tutuliba anja, tutuliba andu. Katia balabayo mbeo yomu paka na mbu tali. Nyono kupa tiba manyidua. Hebi yawe tiba vimanya. No bila gato mbu bila gato. Chichal. Kati penja uleje tulina anti. Mbuiru wa manyika. Mburi chokola. Nyewe kaba katono buwe kati. Kati ngoo kuyomba no mtu. Nefuke nsonga monsi. Hamanda wa siwa rayo kabuliju. Chikola mkuru mafias. Kwe kwe kampe example. Mkwa galide mchala uko. No genda mu studio no kubolu imbo alibuli omu no no lala sanga bu you know go tuina ishu ishu zezaf no mo msa jo e anje kanyo mchala e ne ah ah te chiba chitu sukwe kuwea ne te te chiba chitu era nange si sawa la chikole mbuzi aluaji katolu imbo alibuli alipule poka vandu balo zanti no tuwa uli disani gwenyo nyora tuwa mtu yo gori na kuwa yali alu zanti Nchali no yomu mchalo. Ne mwenye nyo lanti yomu mtu hoyo wageno mufuna. Fetu wali tueta dema bege miaka minga. Ngeza kwa mwenye nyo la. Bee rango mutima kukuli wamo. Febia febia gwada. Kwa hivyo mfuna ngebia febia gwada. Tuwe sanga wesa nzingaba. Ntwa pata hali na ruyombo. Ne mubuza oriotia. Na ina anzira mu. Katunda mkuro. Nali mwenye nyo la mwenye nyo. Mugambi anti ule musanga muwahalu. Aha. Ule musanga muwahai. Oshiteke de. Ele bia febia gwada. Ne mungama nafuna dano mo lala. Kati ya umtima kukubele wa mungu. Na hiba haba antu. Haba antu haba mungu. Ebindo hima gena no kubite gira. Nga vise chovola wanga neka milioni ya gandipa simo gena. Haba mba gena no kutegira mwimbichi ya imba konga ya fada. 
Kali wali gena nukute gena yo mese intatenze na lisi yomba. Na li nini mwenye nyola mwenye nyoze. Ngolusi na fabi ya kata. Mwala wato to gwele debu ronji chewa liyo ya gala. Nole to ulala lwali chibuino. Mwenye nyo omu tembe. Nani ngangwe nyo nyo la takiriza. Right. Mwishegede. Mwenye nyo dene mfukamira ne wansi. Ne mauli dene mugamba siye gwe. Na asigaranga ya insisting anti nze buogamba. Na nwanyi sa mungeri yendala. Nga zengeri jenso vola na ange yendala. Kakati kwe gama atitule puki. So finally, akuta made, akuta uh, kambi ne fumu tule poke tule na kuri mama na magazi gani zoko di samu chokuwa ni sisi. Only in now, the latest. Those albums here are budget. Bako, Bako. Kuri kanyi mbenda na meka. Kuri kanyi mba. By the way, nezi mutu zinda bako. Hey. Nisa ni na mo studio. Okay. Kuri kanyi mba ngaba liyame. Kuri kwa uwa kwa dobi chivua ba mbega ya do tambla ni ba mbega. Kira do no fumpe uwa kwa. Kuri kwa ni ndala si cha luru nkana. Kuri kwa omoko mubi. Nimba kuzichana kwenye lugha na gamba nti siri na ngata ina mwe mitu waru kumi mpusawu. Tomu nyigira. Walusi mbio ya abira mkou. Ya olako. Nibata msasura. Ya olako. Ata ina duke chisera nga talina. Na gambo unu nti nange mpola. Na ata mwola. Na ata mwola. Katu ya kou wakuola. Nibaba jina sena. Kutungo firo na ata kuziki na kou. Tomu nenya ya firo na ata muziki na kou. Ya genda nga no kusuza na asura ni monsiri mumpeo. Na yewe ya firo tebali ya yo. Na ako wa. Evi ntu vingi nyo. Za buli muntu guwe nsanga mo muga mba chino. Buli muntu wako le ishi ntu ngo laba nga. Eshi alipa doba chisabulu le chitiba chino. Ndi buo kwa zesho. Aga wa yendeka ndi muko u. Bwa mbubu za antichisi. Nga kuwa nesu nga. Ngera wena zoge ne mbubu imba. Nyo sanko mfuma ntu yi mchala gumbi. Buo alipa doba mbubu jida nga bao mga nga kwa buli chimu. Buli chimu tamu ya mmoro kaya bayi. Taka manti ndeka. Mbade wake banga dene nga bawa nge ya genda asura yusu za mala miye zitala vika kwa. Nange nkoyo kume waka katindi muko u. Nosa nga mamala ya mwechia bawa na avalu unji. Bawa chite mufu mbiru waa. Nemuda muko yetu ndanga. Nga naba viva fun. Naga manti tuwa aliko mbu fumbu. Nitu nebigani. Nitu nebitu tabuka kwa. Tuliva kwa u. Masaji anga venda nga mba agade. Nga nebo muwacha ingo fuka mide. Taina cha asimu. Tuna chetu wako la nga tusima. Kantuliba kuhu, yembele ili mungu wangu. Evi ya bufuze perspective, uwa angu kari, evi ya bufuze, e jida wa mulu imba lunu, kubanga, abantu haba senga uwa songo ulugabu. Luwa kuvera, simanyi, simanyi luwa achinti, umanyibu wa imba ulu imba, yomu nda inama kuluge gafu na mungu. Atenga buli mungu nda ina dembe li, okutege reishi ndu nga buwa achitege di. Nisonga luachi tuwe tuwe langa mkilas, avamone tuwe itaba la nebagua. Bali ya bagua yuhuza bavida munga wa bali bavitegede. Na fawai itatu wavida nga munga wa bavitegele. Ngatema li mkilas ya mu, ndiyo wavitegele abubwe. Katinze sina wea bufuzi wembi ingilizamu. Ukujia kwa mpuzo roku wati, na yoge lako kubali mbi ya bufuzi. Right. Kwa chitegede. Na inga atesi wa mention inze manya. Na inga ama tuwa member wa pali ya menti. Mbuta chiki. Pajero, ujero basa anga. Mo video walowe betu la ba, woyimbidanti wewe, netu londa betu agal. Aha, naga mi na baronzi na basa anga. Nzoa mukubwa kwa la kasi vante Moses campaign, erubaga. Nga sisa sulwa, na yenga ampoli la njaga la nyonyo kwa kaswa na lini dudde na yeye. Kuwa na jee kampa kusibie singa, kuwa ni nini baza anga kola chi. Nga siri na ngi nda jini zamu sasa sulu kule kama mukole la campaign inga yeye simbio. Na wai yobudevo angewe wengine yuo. Na ye nga chenja gala chicha itemu, 
Nye mpunzi kanga, aise ya mwalala. Nga bala wangiri de mwalala, ata ise ya mungu. Ata ise ya mungu. Ata bala wanzi veru waga. Nipa ngamba. Nti Nti katife. E hiti buo kulonda. Nye wali wanga batukubi ya migo. Tetuichi adamu kulonda. Nye mba gamba luachi. Ato batulo wanzi gutu waga na bala wangiri ya mwalala. Ogenda kutandi kida u. Tuchi agenda maso na itu waya. Ndine mafias walukaga mwimbi. Katugenda maso, Matia, oyagala kuyingida biyabu fuze mwofora mu etalia. Nzo mwurimu guange guwe nkola. Guwonsa sula volu onji, okusi nga ate sifunye na stress yu na. So la stress za biyabu fuze. Atenga nechiru onji. Mbuo ngobu wangu, simanyi mbu biyabu. Temuli mbu biyabu fuze na kama. Lapo mbuo za kubiyabu fuze. Zali buwa alimuo Ebi obu fuzi mo ye. Ebi obu fuzi mpozi. Ebi obu fuzi mpozi. Ebi obu fuzi mpozi. Ebi obu fuzi mpozi. Ngatipa ula bukule mbeze na bufuzi. Nze ndi mwa bukule mbeze. Na ye si soba na kufuga. Obi ya ula mwami walusini. Omukule mbeze. Ebi ya kule mbeza vane. Na hawa gamba tu halikoze chino. Chino na hapa wabula mbeza vati. Ate yu omu fuzi awabu yi oda. Obu fuzi vera oda. Kati zi siso wola. Kuoda linga bantu. Nano busungu mungu. Nempa oda mkwecho ndi bagana. Mbanja kubakuda. Kati saga yu saga la yu. Walu yimba lo bakowo, for example. Senga po position ni balu fula. Mwuzungu chibaita theme song. Walu yimba lo bako zi sanga. Ngo babo la national anthem. Walu yimba lo bako baki zamu. Ni balu fula. Chomuli chibachi tegeza achi. Walu zamu kwe chibachi tegeza achi. Nzo guango guo kuhimba mana guko la negugu kwa katibabe vama inche balu fula Na vama taibu opposition ya vama inche balu fula Kwa siso wala bala gira anti mulu fula chwa Nkubi ya njimba njenji nyo Na yesi inabu yinza wala gira wa nanti luna mulu wagale nyo Obalu na mulu chawe nyo Kumbani nazi nkubi ya njenji nebata zaagala Nazi nkubi ya njenji nebata zaagala Si nze mbala gira Nze chenko la chimucha kukona guange kuandika na njia Chempu lila anti chiru nji Na nchiri rizi nga. Then ya bidirira. Okuluwa gala wabu butaluwa gala. Sibi yangu. Ya katonda. Watani kwa kuyimba. Walimu grupu. Walikuwa mgrupu ya Livingstone ni kasozi. Ya. Yerama inatandi kia. Kumu nenda chenda mkaga. Ya. Kadongo kamu. Achusa hati ya. Nga kwa wala ba mungeriyo. Ngomu yimbi. Wena jira. Nchenda mkaga. Ya liku top. Muzika yunga ya singa wano. Music yo maa yunaba bandi wa hali wansa wa achiba na wana na kanonka mu ya hali wabu. Kwa hali waka sozi, basu dene kafero. Nga mamanyi nyo. Kwa kati weba wafa, kwa basu kasozi ya fa, ni basu dene wafa mwezi guwegumu, kwa hali kafero ya isa hawe banga. Nga kati music na hako lachi, seba tabiba hali wa kuwata gana au mwembele, nga wali ingaba na asiga la uomu. Kwa hali kanonka mu na kamu wansi. Na kira na dasi kukamu. Nese ngoo muntu omu, ate mbade o. Na yenga si sovola nangi, mchisawi kwete ngeri labu omu. Chini ngoo musambi omuru nji mutimu embi. Nga samba nyo nyo, na yenga bali na abu sivaru nji. Ngeraba unzi katimu ya vajigo vio ulipasira. Kanangi mwendi, mwendi, mbade we banga lwe nanga, kubange chila ganti nze mbade muru nji. Nti ulimuaka awadi nze mbade nze wangu nze wangu. Iranga nembi fuzi nayo na kwa namba irama iranga njoo beru apo iranga tambla ni nema wanga gebe chira ganti no tuli murungi wano woka ni nyonyi siba nziri ya sela obubaka obubaka ba moyimba matias mucha aluku mla mwa obubaka dongo kama mugo tumani hey ukujia koko katinga guanga mbinti ngoje kaba mu mfuli la ya ba yimba kadongo kama tuali tu mani nyobi tu biyalav kadi chichi wali ba doga manet da sebo hey Nera avu mkano mka mujiri. Baseba duka ba hai imba ba dani mkano imba antongo. Hai imba sema ya tele. Kunyiba za tani. Denia. Osanga kwa ungalumu. Eee kakati wakano mka mucha imba lavu. Enyo. Kubanga za nyizo kwa njine imba za lavu. Ninaru ba mzavidi mweji. Kuba mchenda mkaga. Kuba mchenda mkaga. Iranze muhimbi waka dongo kama achasi nzaru ba mzavidi mweji. 
na yenga ni nabe ndasanga nga bayimbe de myaka nga abiri na yenda mukubi albums abiri mwemu nga bote baziweza tinze na speed generator ne album bwegana o myeze sato changa nkube ndala ino sirinda sirinda kugwera yo kubulira yo a a nerwana ko kati ezitunze mwezi rine zitatunze era nenyi bazalavu nga nyazo kama kulamu Rachel, <laughs> <laughs> Abantu bajja mu, mu music yono abamu nga sibamu nawo soma mawuli muna mawuli neri abajja mawuli nga mutufu sibamu nga basajja abo bali basana kubera bega basajja bali basana kubera linga baba kuma ku gate neno mulabanga zemba nyonyola abantu mawuli nge bintu bifu byako la ushitegede kana mu kuyimba kwa fe chenda imende ngeje mutali mu interview we can go to stage or in your room and you must have the Tagura on your den to go at the Rafizi. Can you go back or a man? Tiadako ye goundi. Naja skin parizipo, Najisumu, Naganti, or a yard in Zizeko Darambo to four. Tari in the Custadium. No more quarter while you would get to Tangan Tibatu soon, Sula. Would you imagine was singing about our sons? Maybe I'm more seen. Bamala Kugazesa was from Motia. You get Otia Bakugazesa and I never to be in an overcoat of interview. Never to be in the sorrow of Sarah Okugana, you call Aha, I can never forgive you, Mimimo, your Najibi. The young guns and go more to Kaga. Kumalama Quendi, never in the other lavans, Basebali, Bino, give over a bit of a while and a new, be vowel, be two for you. Maybe a yoga of one to have a manisi. Catatamani seven, I'm a Navatia Guawala, not to go at a man. Banga, by in Bibaka Dongo Kama, Munim never gained it up, but now we could. In, in fact, I can't see from Chango. Now, when double Mobamuno, in Banty, Simania, but the Vandu Boya Tabu Dumulas, and does a young eyes of Mwe 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 our Nevanja Gala, Catioli, Owen Sibambi. Naja Divia Mute, Naja Gamant in the Vandose. Nemo Cadongo come to our day in Yontalo. We were always in Zoko Mento not in his own, and there's a fatty city Murat. Go to Lavano Gamut, Gundi, a Sansa Gundi Beto Medde, or I say I Gundi Beko be a womb, the Wafet. Tetunatu Abana we can have a Saja Bakuru Masuti, a child of a Gomez Runji, never see a room with Tamba Kumitu, by an Abafumbo, Bazanava and Ababu. By in a message, Jivan Suviramu Okuera, and Gajan Naimbo Rimba to Malaga Soma. Katinza, Nangana Tambuzi, Mbodi Dava and Abadi, Poker Stage in Babu Dida, a man of Wadi Somichino, Chino, Chino, Okusinzira Mugwang and Gabi. Yonder <laughs> 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 
Kagama, the Bagam and Gatona Salo Chugan of Soma. Gatona Salo Chosomed at Chi, so called Zenyon tea, Mu Uganda, which Soma Mochiri. Kuba Yakusome Berazar and Tuan Govera or Ria Lucin, I am a de Suti Yablak. You are seeing your Suti Yablak, and I began the Kumbaga. Omutegi is again the Ninga and Yanakusasun. I have a number of magazines for me into Eviangu. Ebi yangu na wata somi waga gawadu, ya wana waka nise wa waka nika. Gena mubajiro, eh? Kona wote ringeyo. Boso mwabu sawo, uloleme kulina mwuzima mpe mudua alire dene. Tandi kawuka kilini kiko mpola mpola. Ugenda kula kwa. Osomi yobu somesa. Olimu kukulu mwabu zisma vansa sule mitu alo kuminevili. Tandi kawuka mpola mpola kasomera kaku. Mitu alo kwa mwantu wa jakubu za kati nsevi nze nti alo mitu alo kuminevili. Ushitege de. Sijo very at no imbabaco, no jawaku and double noga, but I say Vingachi or Kafun and Bari. Linda got together come out. Chagan and Marson at Way and Dinner Mafia Swalukaga. Katugan and Mars. Why, Chichachi Racha means Okola. Okwagazisa enyimbe za kadongo kamu abana bana aba abali mukukula mu kisera kino generation yenu yeah eriwe abana wakati we miaka 10 na 2 mu 3 2 mwe nao mm kiri cha mushanje okole kirabo okole ko kuyimba okole ko kuyimba mu kuyimba kwenyene kubanga abamu bakusikirizibwa kuli nanti yes abamu bat confusions mm mu ngeri okugeza ko kusikiriza abantu abalo kuli labi bakola ate bakuba nyimba za band yeah. No, you know, we band. It's many millions of people in band. Now, you got all the other kadongo come. Mm. Billy, we enjoy our own things. Now, you see, we are going to Kati kadongo kamu. Sister, you know, you have to come and hear message. You should show him message. Ubaka, ubaka. Film, we are going to be able to go in back home. Now, how? Get to your challenges, mo. Oxolo Chagazisa, Avan Twab. But the Avana have a two that in the Neogera Congans. Into Mushoyang, Eda, over our ticket is Ava and Avatu Nava and Avaku Muriang. Welcome to the Zavan to, for instance, Ravas and Vavakuru, whatever ticket is out to sit in Gabi. Not all who Savama, whatever Zenavas at Devabo. I don't know if you have a little bit of a little Abantu bana abana jia bana abakula bano basange ebintu ebyo nga biba yamba wabi sangi de wenyene ngata sanze ntibikadiye nsanga lwachi nyimbe mira mwejo ali zengata ko ne chilala kuba smart kubanga omwana okutunulira maika do kamba ali baloza nti ayimbi baba na batamivu abakadde asajja bakadde ata batamivu ogana tu chagazi sabana to get a smart in this way, I'm going to stage. No presenting a Burundi. I don't know him, but I watch the Viva Quataku. What can you go in, Bano Gamarica Cati, and Taroze Bamaro, Tabiba Quataku? The man has a little to go to the fees, and never gamanti, never an amour. Fetrasum and Bilembe came both, and never because of Wemut, eh? You may not come or call a Wemut, Majakos come with Wemut, never Wemuti. Catchy Tans Havana Mosha. Tijangu we uli tije chipa kugam, wanza budi jema nchiku gamba ano rose angola chi, mkuwala na kari yangu uli yangu bachi gambi na dala wali, ingeli jema kunga ni amwa bato na bachi, na bakadi ya. Kwa zivu bachi nyerere, yemasaka, yemasaka, mugudu. Wakudi na yote yeye, mali moyimba. Nzego la ba na yimba, ukuva mu pitu mpaka mpu. Nwali makaita Saint Margaret Primary School. Kavayo akakachali. Kagua. Kagua Koka. Nga Zakwaya leader, Mosomero. 
When the time you go to the second, when you go to the church, the parish, 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 the Basically, what you or Subiantic or you could jam a charm of cool, or you could you want to go on the Wally Kumopida. Get up my into Mopida. The talent to Jenny and Doku developing Okra and Jenny of Fulangam, the end of Fulangam Limo. Nay, Dumuna Inam Karanga and Alin Soma Nanga Mita Carle, Freddy. Nandi and the Kayama Saki Yunga, so make a Yunga St. Anthony's school. Kendo kuda mukula karule, ngavazi wafu, ngakarula ni lava yimbi, niku stage ni. Nanga ba yiki karule, yali chategeer. Biyo kusoma. Tiki zoe munda zoe lo kukuwa kuita wala na na kola chini. Na ba kuchia. Na ba kuchia chia fuka. Inuwa gana na geza ke wala. Nanga ba karule, na ba gama tina li yimba nyomo kuwa church kuwa ya sapari kuwa ya. I can't think of a calling again, no, we in Babang. Any panties were dissolved in Babang, but I'm not so much one because I'm not here. But then I'm a man, yeah, some of us have been one. Which I don't know if you are in Zala. That is a Kaimba Kangi, Kaiti Abachala, but Yamun Missing Afri. Kavana, but Toto Tao. But Yava Yim, Bibatono, the group where I live to Amakula, Gita singers. Kakafe na mazoe jiva amu, akose kula kwa kujita singa. Kaburu pe hivali ruwa muzi nongezi good day. Hidanga na ba yimbi muri mbato no nyio. Ngao jira wona wona waliwo gap. Oku yingira. Hidanga banga mbuga minti ya, oso volanti ni ninja stage ni banga kubira. Lokwa na yimbi na kuchialeka, na yimba kaiyimba kwa ni banga fua sende nyingi nyio 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 nyio. Banga waluka gavili jari wana kumba. Ni banga mbano kunga manti kaka tira. Pebi ori mula, ori nbi amu pira. Oh, ora bi. But you know, Queen Babo to Bash the Bakutuari, and I want to bust you be saw. Then I'm a Kalin Sabida. In the number. Twenty more day. Then Tambula Senior Chol. I don't think senior thing. The Mohori day, and then Tambula Conabo and Tambula Conabao. The Vija between Sabu being you knew, no, not your company, no Paka Kanyana Vabe and Gao. Campala, what you are, what did I cover? What am I saying? I'm young, 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 Okay. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh, I do I instruments. arrangement. Nefu no kusikirizi wa nengule vitavo nebaido Nena niko kuhi ya nginyi menji ya nginyi menji ya nginyi mba Onengende chito fosa niti ya nuriza nita niko kusoma sinia faibu Haluwa mm. msaji ya baadhi Seka kangawela mwenye endo mm, mm. Ya imba bandavu dutuwewa zenga katonda Kakati yuna hiyo kuhimba wangu Nga mvaye hili kusomero mpola lumu Nenzi jawa no mwenye endo Nemo imbi na munga ina drive guitar and Studio, Experience, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Y
studio e waliyo kutubro wa seno kujinja road waliyo studio wajita ya dp dipro kosega wakatumba eh hey, mulabe nakuzino mwali mu kampala ah ya ina studio ndo ari recording anga ngano tebiri kona kumala kumanya tino yimbira mu kikinga ze sibimanyi wenda je uba kwa tagita do mugogozo ogunene nange wenda yimbira nabise ko muganda wa me ne nkala katabu kala kasine nkola chi ne ngenda okay nakati ina tu keyo ne rubale miezi nge satu ndo kuya mbandi kusomera Nga ba nga ba, ba nga mu yimbi ba ita wa luka ga ma thiasi, ya yimbi wa luka ga furumiye, tu luka mu nyendo wa li, kati, na nzi luka ga nda yo, ba kiba luka chifana nyi nga chichi anga chichi nyi 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 nyi, no tia nyi, ka ka nenge luka suma na saka ka, na nga ba ya tepu ya tu nda tu nda mpo la mpo la wa na ye, eh wa li oma nyi nti zi jap furuma, ah ah na nyi chwa nyi zi nok furuma, kati suna ne mu ga mba nda ko la nti ba na mpa yo ka sinti nti ye, ya kutu ala wi chi jwa mpo numa nga kusa suwe. Nenzijia, tuburo na ansa sura ye mituwalo, jari ana. Haa, kisa alisante nyeje. Ye mituwalo ana mbudo. Chenda mwe satu. Chenda mwe. Mwe na. Chenda mwe talo. Zari sante nyeje. Chenda mwe talo. Ye mituwalo ana, zari sante nyeje. Chenda kola, nengenda, nempako mama sante, na kola kakaduka, kwa mituwalo nga kuminevili. Ne ngula kegali mpia, ne ngula kengo ye. Semi ya five, wachali mo five. Semi ya five. Ha, ba na ina ngamba ngozi nti ya. Nengi ya, nengi ya, nengi ya, nengi ya. Mbandi ya wanga wali wenyi ni abadja ba kalu. Ba makula ba nde taluli, ngawa kumi yao. Ba kwenye naku dadi, uwai. Wafuru mize ni, beka mpala vantu ba zaga. Kwa chitu jano. Nenga makani ndi na, nengo ma wana ba. Nenda ndi kada roku yimbe, ndi roku vauchi nda muita ali. Nenda yimba yimi zinge sato makula. Nenge dati wa chuo nukia imba fina kuli kaya ukusoma mbovu vijukira. Nga yai na ma ibantu ba ina biu ma uweva sula ba tu tu sula wansi. Tenga mwenye kui imba la ivu. Atu ina kui imba la ivu kadi chuo nukana e ba imba au tebali ba nje bise rebio. Mwamu imba na ubo kubia kui imba na ubena michebi na ba kuwa bui. Nenge dawa chuo nukia fina. Atenda ndi mfuna advantage inti mukungu alo miba alo mta jofu mukungu ainyo msamba gua mumba sa. Kati yali avude mu ngawa duwe ra ugap. Ela vai amparar o homem, então ele vai cuidar mais da vó. Caribe então ele vai cuidar mais da vó, nem dia o homem vai ir para a canoa ampola. Ela vai ver a cozirim. Cati casozi, a sangue o chique boa isso. Casozi se o chenda moita não se o homem vira se o acta não quer campeonie é HIV. Chenda moca aga. Ninety six. Cati em dia o homem vai para a canoa ampola. Casozi a sangue o estúdio mas o do recording. Olha mas é no bit a garantir no endo o baco ata o ano no fone do voz é do onde Nenye mbabulu nji nyo nyaka nyo ampola hako. Na alu uliza kalu ama kuru nyo. Na ngambo imbi dawa. Na ngamba nyimba nichi wanuka fina. Na ngamba njaga love yonzi jetu yonzi jetu yonzi jetu yonzi jetu yonzi. Takupasu dao. Atenda basibu la bali. Kati nga kasozi mwenene nyo kubali. Nga andaba nga na ichiroto kasozi mkunga mati ya unu. Tuyimbe fina nzani. Saba sibu la. Nezi ya wakasozi. Na njaga la nyo. Nami ana imi zingeli tano, kula dunia vumbu nywe zani yule vumbu nyiki dira au, kula chia somba la kuvua wansa au, idang ni imbezo zinarui sezo. Tando koko ni amafia sio imbi da waluka ganda bi kasa za ndesi ha, yale aluba moyo kuviri, yada kukanywa ampola, ngamazo kasa za mazo kufa, idang ni imbezo zinarui sezo, nzenda zita ndi koko zua ndi kazi yai imbanga yira angiri rezo. So kasa ziba briefly, kasa ziba afa, no vayo no tando kebi bi. Kasa ziba afa. Ndiyo na wajiba chita kampala music stars. Na siga lanchi imbi na mu. Omuwa kamulamba. Nituge na maso, nituge na maso. Naguisa na mu. Kati, beyande kira abali siga lanchi imbi na mu. Tudia kwa ataka na mburonji. Atengo ntani seno kubwa uimba bagena kwa kutegira tegira. Roma muli katumba. Na yaza atu ega se kampala magezi. Tia bala avantuba na abajia mshomo. Na abajia lwa kubwa kubwa kwa zerinya. Tukwa lechi bina bala tuba vila. Tuba vila. Tuba vila bimeka kati biyori mu. Tuba vira. Yola chie nchi angi chie ndi mkani. Haa. Mufuteri wa mwakawa. Mwakawa. Nenzijia. Mwakise wa chaluka fina. Nenzijia mkampala mwaziki stazi. Mwakawa mkwale nchi angi. Nema mwale katumu. Bitu tabu kira. Kama mwale tupangisize biu mao. Batu tuta kuma polisi. Batu CBS biu kuma polisi. Jamusa sura. Atinga batu tupala bako. Bacha mwaki didaluli. Bacha mwaki didaluli. 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 Mwa
Bandoza, Yarida sympathy, very much Sassira was Sassi, Rakasos of Kufayaga, Abana Varaseka to Bawagiri. Never should deny, never should deny Katiba, Fedora was anti to Funyaman, you come very much to Sassi. But what could he be a friend? Never mind to you, but what are you very? Kati, Mamika to Manachi Vamu, Yampa Magazine to Chicoli. And Zuseco, and they come to the Kirbo Mumu Bom, Bom to the Kirbo Muchi Sing Nagin, the Napolisha Chita Mirinda, the Chigua. No, 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 so, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going Yadia <laughs> Oranga didn't you call your Kutuchu Nanga Vanavato? But you go about the charcoal, a city two for calling one good dog. Quagga is a beautiful don't you? Can you come on? Oh, for an ascent, a covers or no, it doesn't know you. Come on, I mean, a banger, you know. Carry so, yeah. About the Mathias Waluka Gamu Yimbi, Yimbi de Miaka, Jew, and Dalla, Jisovamu Kumi, Nathan, Octusa Mulundi, Yomlala, Zay Frank Walisim, about the toy, very brunch. Exodus from Congo. Over 16,000 Congolese refugees fled camps at the Uganda DRC border. It's Monday night, the 9th of July 2012, and this is NTV Tonight, coming to you live from our studios here in Kampala. Tonight, as rebel clashes continue across the border into the Democratic Republic of Congo, our NTV team in the area tonight focuses on the human face and cause of the escalating tensions and intensified clashes. Well, we meet the refugees out in the cold at the border in open spaces, spending the night with no shelter, latrine, food, or water. Their desperate plight is as a result of intense fights between M23 rebels and Congolese soldiers. But first, uh, here are the rest of the headlines. It might affect them, but that argument can only be made by the Security Council. It's the one that can exercise self-defense preemptively. Resolving the Congo conflict, 
should it be left to the UN alone? Power struggle at City Hall. Mayor Lukwago loses bid to have court arbitrated in dispute with KCCA's executive director, Jennifer Musisi. The women have actually, the men, even when they have condoms, they are not using them. HIV infection rates escalate as men shy away from condom use. A very good evening to you all and thank you for joining us here on NTV tonight. I am Faith Ariho. And I am Gabriel Epenu. Over 16,300 refugees have entered Uganda through the Bunagana border of Uganda and Congo, fleeing an ongoing conflict between government troops and M23 rebels. The majority of them are now rehabilitated at Nyakabande Transit Center as police trucks continue to ferry in more refugees. According to Bahiko Esau, the officer in charge of the camp, the number of refugees crossing into Uganda is slowly reducing. However, hundreds of the others spend nights on, peop on people's verandas and a playground only a few meters to this Bunagana border. Sudir Biaruhanga now reports. At around 5.30 a.m., we hit the road to Bonagana border, about 15 kilometers from Kisoro town, to catch up with hundreds of Congolese refugees who spent the night out in the cold. Mothers, children and their fathers all share the verandas with their belongings in an area where temperatures drop below 16 degrees centigrade every night. Since the conflict erupted between the M23 rebels and government forces last week, thousands of people fled to Uganda that is at the border of Bunagana. They sleep on the streets just like you're seeing and they're not sure as to when this state of affairs will come to an end. <laughs> Not far from here is this open space where more than 100 refugees are living. And when the skies open at night, they have nowhere to run to. They have no latrine and even nowhere to go, but most concerned, they have nothing to eat and drink. We then move to Nyakabande Transit Center, where over 16,000 refugees are staying. Up to the police vehicles continue to ferry more Congolese refugees from Bonagana, although the numbers have declined from 1,500 refugees every day to about 600. But how do they ensure that the fleeing Congo army or rebels do not disguise themselves into the camp? The question is, we, we, we said to them, guide us to identifying exactly, are these people refugees, are they from Congo? <laughs> Although the conditions are much better than those at the border, they receive only two meals a day, that is breakfast and dinner. There are the maize flour and, the, and, the, and the cow peas and beans. Maize bread is ready, but it is not a time to eat for these people who once had enough to eat. Those who fled with some pocket change prepare something before the general meal that is already served at around 5 p.m. Considering around 20% of the entire population in Kisoro district is currently here, in an area about 400 square meters, it is an ideal breeding ground for diseases. We see most of common diseases, structural respiratory symptoms due to the weather conditions, but nothing abnormal. And also, of course, we have some, uh, a number of deliveries. All the refugees' fingerprints, names and origin are entered into the system before they are transferred to Ramanje refugee settlement, about 280 kilometers from here. There are some reports that more refugees are fleeing through Kasese as the fighting between M23 rebels gets close to Goma after Rangabo was captured today by the rebels. The future of the other people who have not yet fled Congo depends on when the conflict will end, with unconfirmed reports suggesting that Congo President Joseph Kabira wants the rebel leader Sultan in dead or alive. Sudil Biaruhanga, NTV. Okay, meanwhile, a Makerere University law don says countries neighboring the Democratic Republic of Congo should back off the conflict and let the United Nations handle the situation. This has weighed in on the rebellion in the eastern part of the country that has seen thousands of refugees cross into Uganda in the last few days. Mr. Kabumba Businje cites Uganda's past in involvement rather, in clashes with Rwanda in the DRC 
which had violated the United Nations Charter. As the fighting between the Congolese armed forces, the FARDC, and the M23 rebels intensifies in the eastern part of Congo, fears of a regional security crisis are looming among some Congolese nationals living in Uganda. Our country is uh, very, very big. Any war, it affects all the country, boundary countries. And I think there are many, many countries also who are involved in that war, according to the report of the UN. Rwanda has consistently denied any involvement in backing the rebels who took a key town in the mineral-rich northern Kivu province in the eastern part of the country in the latest clashes. Rwanda cannot benefit from security. Rwanda will benefit from security and stability. Against this backdrop, Makerere University law lecturer Kabumba Businje cautions leaders neighboring the Democratic Republic of Congo to back off and let the United Nations Security Council resolve the conflict. The countries of the region will have to come together and find a way of replying to the situation in a way that doesn't um, violate the United Nations Charter because that's where we can get into problems because as a country we have had problems with the UN Charter before and the case that went to the ICJ was DRC versus Uganda and, and so we have a background of um, extra legal responses to such, uh, such challenges that, that, that perhaps that hopefully this time will not be continued. The DRC formerly known as Zaire, has been a hotbed of conflict since the late 1980s, with one of the biggest wars being fought in 1988, in which eight African nations were drawn in. Embassy officials were reportedly holed up in a meeting the whole of today. Chris Sochamringa, NTV. The court has thrown out a case lodged by Kampala Lord Mayor Elias Lukwago against KCCA Executive Director Jennifer Musisi. Lukwago in September last year sought to get redress over what he said was Musisi's usurping of powers of the Lord Mayor. However, the court ruled that it wasn't the right institution to arbitrate the dispute and that the city hall should instead directly confront the leadership challenges. The court further ordered Lukwago to pay costs incurred by Musisi in the lawsuit. A solution to the power struggle between the two heads at KCCA may have to come from elsewhere after Justice Eldad Mwangusia of the High Court Civil Division ruled that Lukwago should have sought other alternative means than the courts to determine who is boss at City Hall. In the judge's view, the matter was not beyond a remedy at KCCA itself, adding that the matter should not have been entertained in court in the first place. And in what can be deemed as a blow to his own face, before dismissing the case, Justice Mwanguse awarded Musisi costs. Her lawyers say Lukwago will have to part with about 100 million shillings. However, court dismissed the assertion by defense lawyer Andrew Kassidier that no suit can be brought against the executive director, saying that her immunity does not extend in matters where court has to play its supervisory role. The case was yet another confrontational episode in the power struggle between the two for the control of the city. Attempts between the two parties to reach an out-of-court settlement had also failed. Well, it is on this issue that we would like to hear from you on tonight's NTV poll. And we are asking, do you support the High Court's decision that the leadership wrangles between the mayor and the executive director can only be resolved by KCCA leadership itself? Do you support the High Court's decision that the leadership wrangles between Musisi and Lukwago can only be resolved by KCCA leadership. To have your say, text A778 followed by yes or no, as well as your name and where you are texting from, and we shall be reading some of your comments during tonight's newscast, as well as bringing you the final poll result for tonight. Next tonight, former Director General of Mulago National Referral Hospital, Dr. Edward Dumba, is once again in the spotlight for allegedly mismanaging funds meant for the Hurt Institute. Dr. Dumba allegedly misappropriated appropriated rather, over 700 million shillings out of the 4.8 billion shillings meant for equipment at the Mulago Heart Institute. Appearing before the Public Accounts Committee of Parliament, the director of the Heart Institute, Dr. John Omangino, accused Dumba of mistreating him when he attempted to question the whereabouts of the money. Here's Jingo Francis. In 2008, President Yorim Seven directed that the institute be given 4.8 billion shillings to procure part of the medical equipment of the Heart Institute. Investigations carried out by the Auditor General indicate that the funds were released through Mulago Hospital account, but only 4 billion shillings was handed over 
to the Hart Institute and the remaining 780 million shillings disappeared from the account. The disappearance of the money has been blamed on the former Director General of Mlago Referral Hospital, Dr. Edward Dumba. The director of the Heart Institute, Dr. Johnny Omagino, this morning accused Dumba of mistreating him when he attempted to question the disappearance of the money. There was such an ugly, ugly, ugly exchange of letter, trying to extract and to get even Mlago. He was even punished in various other ways <laughs> for bringing up this what. This matter, I was denied a promotion, I was denied a lot of things, I was intimidated. Now, now you must pay back. Dr. Magino was stood appearing before the Public Accounts Committee of Parliament. In another development, the Director General of Uganda AIDS Commission, Dr. Kumura Puri, says part of the problem as why HIV and AIDS is on the increase are the men who shun the use of condoms. There needs to be an increase in the number of condoms. But if you look how men are behaving. The men, the men are having, they are listening, they are men having many women instead of five, you are keeping four. But the one in the rural area is keeping six. But it, despite that, the women have actually, the men, even when they have condoms, they are not using them. The recent serial survey by the Minister of Health indicated that the prevalence rate was increasing at a rate of 70.3%. Meanwhile, the Oil Probe Committee of Parliament has refuted allegations that the committee has exonerated the Prime Minister Mama Mbabazi, Minister Hira Roneke and Sam Kutesa over bribery allegations to oil companies. The report has not been completed and uh, the process is ongoing. It is a, cat a categorical no. There is no report. For us, we are not going to be diverted. The committee will by next month travel to Malta, Dubai and the United Kingdom, where it's alleged that ministers open accounts for receiving the bribes. Jingo Francis, NTV Parliament. Well, here is some of what is still to come on NTV tonight when we return from this short break. A balanced sheet of mixed fortunes, Africa's youngest nation celebrates first independence anniversary. Fajil Mande takes over as UNEP chairman, warns politicians and non-performers as he seeks to revamp the image of the exam body. And TV Tonight continues after the show break. Don't go away.
Welcome back. We start with a reminder of our interview poll question for tonight and some of your responses. We asked, do you support the High Court's decision that the leadership wrangles between the mayor and the executive director at KCCA be solved by the leadership there? I'll say that again. Do you support the High Court's decision that the leadership wrangles between the mayor and the executive director can only be re resolved by KCC leadership. Well, to have your say, text A778, then yes or no, and followed by your name and where you are texting from. Let's now take a look at some of your comments so far. Well, David Nsamba, you say the Lord Mayor was right in taking Musisi to court, but it's unfortunate that court cannot resolve the issue and that he has to pay costs for it. And uh, someone here says KCCA can handle this themselves. Well, this is how the tentative poll result stands so far. 51% of our respondents are saying yes, while 49% of you say no. Well, stay tuned as we shall be bringing you more comments on tonight's final poll results at the tail end of tonight's newscast. Indeed. Now, one of the youngest countries in the world, South Sudan, marks its first year of independence from the north on Monday today. Almost half a century of bloodshed in southern Sudan has uh, also made it one of the most underdeveloped countries in the world. But the prospect of peace, which uh, the split with its neighbor was meant to bring about, has been marred by ongoing conflict between the two sides over territory and crucial oil revenues. Nonetheless, as Maurice Ochoa reports, Professor Edward Chiumira of Macquarie University believes that the youngest country in the world has managed to gain international attention and attract much-needed investment. One of the youngest countries in the world, South Sudan marks its first year of independence. For two decades, South Sudan battled in bloodshed, making it one of the most undeveloped countries in the world. Its first year is a list of setbacks and challenges, but with a population buoyed by better prospects for the future. Professor Edward Chirumira of Macquarie University notes that developments there cannot be underestimated. So when you look at a country going through reconstruction, there's a lot that is happening in reconstructing a nation. Yeah. And that in itself attracts a lot of business. Yeah. Uh, it, it attracts a lot of contracts. He also points to the country's strong diplomatic relations that South Sudan's leaders have not only maintained but also secured. Successful in pushing the broader international community support and we see a lot of people coming in, the Norwegian government and other governments seeking to be part of the building of a new nation and, and that we should give, uh, it should be commended of the southern Sudanese government. Key to the South Sudan's progress is its oil resources, which account for 97% of its resource of its revenue and has attracted a number of investments, thus boosting the economy. However, the country's progress is being clouded by inter-ethnic conflict. So I think they've been concerned with how do you integrate or reintegrate, you know, those otherwise military you know forces that were part of the of the liberation agenda for southern sudan are now bringing them on board as you know sort of singular political forces that are very uh, very key in, in developing or building a nation for many south sudanese focus too should be put on infrastructure in the vast country the world bank put south sudan's annual infrastructure funding gap at 879 million u.s dollars okay one zero go talk uh, militias of uh, northern Sudan. So I want the improvement of hospitals and schools. Its relations with its ally Uganda recent had diplomatic spots over territorial borders, especially in the northwestern part of the country. Professor Chirumera says that is expected. And of course, you are having a country that is boxed in, and so every inch of of that to them matters and so this is where now we're also beginning to see you know the border clashes becoming more you know more you know uh, brought out and so forth it's been there for, 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 for quite a long time as the country looks to the future some critics say it will increasingly need the support of east african community to develop more research all and tv Meanwhile, it is estimated there that there are about 80,000 Ugandans who live and work in South Sudan, with most of them residing in the capital, Juba, 
as well as other urban centers in the central equatorial state. Now, a registration exercise of all foreigners in South Sudan started a month ago, and the deadline was last Saturday. Yet many Ugandans, especially those in the informal sector, are yet to register and remain there illegally. It is because of this that the Directorate of Nationality, Passports and Immigration has decided to extend a deadline for registration to them. The question nonetheless remains, is the South Sudan going to use the exercise to plan for foreigners or reduce on their surging numbers? Frank Kwalusimbi has just returned from South Sudan and he filed this report. South Sudan is coming out strong on illegal immigrants. Accordingly, registering foreigners in the country will help the Labour Ministry to gauge the number of foreigners in the country and the types of employment they undertake. Secondly, registering foreigners is another way South Sudan can raise revenue. The Uganda Embassy in South Sudan estimates that there are close to 100,000 Ugandans who live and work here, including those who run cross-border business errands. Foreigners from other countries are thought not to be more than 60,000. All foreigners, at least those who live in the country legally, were supposed to register within the past month, but many Ugandans have persistently ignored the registration exercise, saying it is simply another form of money extortion. No, actually, we have done them a lot of favor. The idea was, you know, they don't issue those papers outside Uganda. We have been given that by the, by the immigration department because of explaining our circumstances, that there are many Ugandans here. The Director of Nationality, Passports and Immigration, Brigadier Augusto Namadot, who spoke to NTV of the record, confirmed that there is going to be an operation soon to follow the exercise, and foreigners without valid visas or work permits will be deported. The Uganda Embassy until now is lobbying Ugandans to register, but with minimal response. Many of the Ugandans here are saying that registration is quite expensive, but embassy officials are saying that much as it is expensive, it is very important for every Ugandan in South Sudan to register at this moment. The South Sudan government is grappling with many serious issues. Among them is unemployment. Foreigners dominate all the available jobs in the informal sector, leaving local youth redundant. In May 2012, the Ministry of Labor issued a directive that all taxi, buses and motorcycle owners should terminate the services of foreign drivers and conductors and instead employ South Sudanese nationals only. The directive was to be effected on June 15th, but authorities are holding back as they study developments. Some Ugandans who caught wind of such news think that whether one is registered or not, a time will come when all foreigners will be thrown out of the country, which the Uganda embassy in South Sudan says it is a rumor spread by Ugandans who are on the police wanted list for cross-border crime. The Uganda Embassy was able to secure an extension of the registration exercise to 21st July to attend to Ugandans who will turn up last. Frank Walisimbi, NTV. Now let's take a look at more stories making the news across Uganda tonight. Police have issued a fresh terror alert, warning that terrorists have threatened to attack public places as Uganda prepares to mark the second anniversary of the July 11th twin attacks in Kampala. Police say they are not taking such threats lightly. As security, we have therefore effected our, our policing by ensuring that we put security in areas which we feel unnecessary and they actually <clears throat> don't have security. We have also enforced places where security exists but not, it's not effective enough. And the, we have improved our patrols and other security measures within, within Kampala. Elsewhere, Information and National Guidance Minister Mary Karoro Okurut has appealed to the media and Ugandans to appreciate the efforts the government has put in place to contain the nodding disease syndrome, as opposed to purely the negative portrayal of the still mysterious disease. The minister says this will give hope to the affected communities in the district of Kitigum, Padera, Lamo and Gulu, where close to 5,000 cases have been reported with nearly 300 deaths. We are not saying that you should cover up the challenges, but give people hope. Last night, I was very happy with NTV. Now, this child who couldn't walk, who was dripping with saliva, who was defecating on himself, is now at this stage because of what has been put in place. 
I said, thank you. That is the way to go. Absolutely. And finally, the Uganda National Examinations Board has installed a new chairperson, Mr. Fajil Musa Mande. Monday took over office today after his instrument of appointment was approved by President Yoeri Museveni. The installation ceremony was presided over by the Minister for Education and Sports, Honorable Jessica Alupo, and it comes after the former chairperson, Albert Lutalo Bosa's term of office expired in October last year. Monday, who has previously worked as a commissioner of the Inspectorate at the Ministry of Education and an education consultant, has vowed to ensure strict following of the minimum standards set by UNEB for both government and private institutions. My aim is to try and uh, reduce it maximally, definitely one would wish to do maximum. But one of them is sensitization. Do people understand what is examinations? Why do people hate examinations? I think we must change the mindset first of all of the people. Number two, a lot of people cheat exams because they are not being taught well. The Executive Secretary of UNEB, Matthew Bukenya, says the board has taken strong measures to curb examination leakages, which include use of the conveyor belt system and a system of marking a school without identifying its name. In her speech, the minister requested Mr. Mandy to ensure that there is further improvement in the kind of technology used at UNEB. Okay, it's about time we had in TV business, and Malcolm Musime is here to bring us just that. Malcolm, what do you have for us this evening? Thank you, Gabriel and Faith. Um, returns from Southern Sudan have shrunk sharply, mm. and it's definitely cause for worry. And in every because of the harassment of traders in Sudan? Yeah, South their relations with uh, traders. traders in Southern Sudan. Yeah. 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 Thank you for watching. This is NTV Business and uh, coming up we're going to look at the relations between Uganda and Southern Sudanese traders. All that is coming up in business so stay with us. Don't go away. These messages in the papers and whatnot are reaching Kampala people. Mm. When, you, when you hear about get off the sexual network mm. I have my son says, ah dad, that thing so frightens me so much mm. that I even fear. The mountain gorilla is considered endangered species, with only about 720 mountain gorillas left in the world. And these live within four national parks split into two regions. Bwindi Impenetrable Forest National Park, Mahinga Gorilla National Park in Uganda, Volcanoes National Park in Rwanda, and Virunga National Park in the Democratic Republic of Congo. The gorilla is the largest of all living primates and has a robust build with long muscular arms, a massive chest and broad hands and feet. It has longer and darker hair than other species, allowing it to live and travel at high altitudes where temperatures drop to below zero degrees Celsius. The gorillas can be identified by nose prints unique to each individual. Male mountain gorillas stand up to an average height of 6 feet and weigh from 400 to 500 pounds, that is 227 kilograms, making them the largest of the great apes. Adult males are called silverbacks because they develop a streak of silver hair on their backs with maturity. The silverback is the leader and the ultimate protector of his band. The mountain gorilla is most active between 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. 
Most of this time is alternated between foraging, eating, and resting. They are herbivores and consume large amounts of vegetation. Adult males can eat up to 34 kilograms of vegetation a day, while a female can eat as much as 18 kilograms. Very good evening. Thank you for watching. My name is Malcolm Simeon. and this is NTV Business. Now, as South Sudan marks its first independence anniversary, Uganda appears to be counting trade losses with Africa's newest state and one that has benefited a lot from its strategic and material support. Now, according to statistics, Uganda's returns from South Sudan have shrunk by nearly $530 million from nearly a billion dollars two years ago, with insecurity and violence meted against Ugandan traders cited as the major trade inhibiting factors. Raina Aljun has more. As South Sudan marks a year as an independent state, concern about dwindling returns from the Juba market by Ugandan-owned enterprises is still high and up. From nearly $1 billion two years ago to approximately $530 million today, the private sector foundation is rallying for improved security in Juba in order to support business growth. There is a lot, a lot, a lot of market potential in South Sudan. But we can only take advantage of this potential if peace is built, if there is assured security. Our people have been shot, you have, you have, you have known that. They have been locked up, in many instances without valid reasons. They have been ambushed, our buses have been ambushed. Relatedly, experts are also suggesting that immediate institution of a legal safety net for small and medium traders that constitute the largest bulk of participants in the South Sudan market needs to be put in place. The implementation of the legal framework that have already been signed are properly implemented and enforced by all the two countries so that the environment becomes friendly for all the partners. We see institution organizations like Legal Aid working in Sudan to help traders to address legal issues. Even then, Ugandan traders operating directly in southern Sudan continue to demand a better business climate, besides insisting on claims worth millions of dollars in unsettled bills that they want clear to enable them to stabilize their enterprises. We have the bus drivers, we have the lorry drivers, we have the traders, uh, we have the long distance, long, long distance uh, uh, lorry drivers. We want the government of Sudan to come out and uh, make a conducive environment for the people who are trading and working. In Raina Arjun, NTV Business. Now, the decision by government to borrow from the National Social Security Fund. Uh, to finance infrastructure projects has continued to spur debate with pundits stressing that the need for institutional uh, inst instituting a social security sector regulator first to protect the savers interests nsf's managing director richard biarugaba however maintains that there are structures in place to protect those interests even as he stresses the need for a regulator to the sector whose portfolio is estimated at close to three trillion shillings you know, there is uh, no regulator in place for nssf however we are regulated by the Ministry of uh, Finance, uh, number one. Number two, Bank of Uganda also has been asked to regulate us. Uh, however, a regulator is coming in place uh, during this financial year, uh, and we think that that will happen certainly very soon. The development comes at a time when government is hard-pressed to look for alternative sources of funding as the traditional development partners struggle to reboot their shrinking economies. Biarugaba insists that borrowing from the domestic market offers the best funding alternative given its ability to win the country of the donor support York in the long run. The government would like to borrow, but they would like to borrow from the local market. And uh, the local market is made up of uh, institutional investors like ourselves, 
like banks and also foreign, uh, foreign investors. So we believe that uh, government borrowing from NSSF as part of domestic uh, realizing of finances is a good thing because it means that the economy begins to rely on itself rather than relying on uh, foreign deposits. While the move by government to borrow from the social security sector to finance development projects, it's not unique to Uganda. The fact that this sector has no independent regulator remains unique to Uganda. For this, concern is rising as to whether the current secondary regulatory structure offers ample protection to the workers' savings. Now, in the financial markets, the shilling has remained fairly stable against the dollar, while in the equity markets, several stocks' prices remained unchanged, maintaining the all share index at 1,084 shillings. We have more in the financial market report. Financial report is brought to you by URA, developing Uganda together. vehicles are required to revalidate their registration using our new online module and get a new logbook. All newly imported vehicles will also be registered online using this new online module. Get out of the line and get online. And finally, on NTV Business, Uganda Revenue Authority has launched a new online registration system for motor vehicles as it seeks to widen and maximize the collection pool, from which it currently gathers nearly 50 billion shillings each month. The tax body is also giving an ultimatum of a year within which all vehicles in the country must have the logbooks fully registered in the right owner's names. And particulars, Raina Ojun reports. New logbook and this is a new online registration system has formally been launched by the Uganda Revenue Authority. A move the tax collector anticipates will strengthen its collections in levies from the brand new as well as used or reconditioned cars. I could have bought a vehicle a year ago. I come, I declare, and I mention that the vehicle belongs to me, Mr. X. If in our system the owner of the vehicle is Mr. P, will tell you. Mr. X, this vehicle does not belong to you, it belongs to P. But we shall facilitate you to go through a process of formally transferring the vehicle into your names. With our 600,000 vehicles already on the country's roads also being targeted for fresh registration and update by current owners, the Line Ministry of Transport is raising need for steadfastness in URA's network system. I hope that stringent security features are inbuilt within the new online motor vehicle registration system to safeguard taxpayers and general public from fraud. Relatedly, a cross section of traders dealing the used vehicles are anxious that many of their clients are panicking over the new online registration system. That winds up NTV Business for tonight. Thank you for watching. Back to you, Gabriel and Faith. Thank, Thank you, Malcolm, Malcolm and have a good night. Now, Joel Kamadi <coughs> joins us here to take us through sport. Thank you very much, Faith. Now, after a very emotional Wimbledon final yesterday, newly crowned champion Roger Federer and world number one, of course, says he still does not think he is the best in the world. Well, I think currently he is the best in the world. Well, you'll find out next.
and I'll be giving you more stories in sport coming up. In Star Profile today, we look at IJ's other half, Irene Namubiru. She had her education at Mitiana Senior Secondary School, Bugema Adventist, after which she continued to Namasagali College, where she did a lot of singing. During her senior four of ACT, she met Ragadi, expressing her ambitions to sing. She did an audition and joined the homies, which consisted of Ragadi, DJ Messi and Irene. Altogether, the trio released their first single, Bamusa Kata. Irene had her first concert on the 17th September 1995 and that was her first time to hit the entertainment headlines in the local papers. At this point she decided to do music professionally and earn money from it. But at the same time she also knew that she had to continue with her education. When she was done with school she joined a live band where they used to perform mainly at corporate functions. In 1999 she joined Juliana Kanyomozi, her former schoolmate at Namasagali College and together they formed the R&B all-girl group called IJ. In 2000 they released a single track album titled Vive La Vie which they never sold but launched nonetheless one month after which she left for France thus disbanding the group. Good evening, I'm Joel Kamadi and you're welcome to NTV Sport. Now, Uganda Revenue Authority tactician Alexis Saviri will take a team of 20 players to Dar es Salaam this Wednesday to challenge for the Sekafa Club Championships. However, the former Uganda Crane striker will not be with the services of experienced Vincent Kayizi, who is leaving the country for professional trials. Sam Poza reports. Uganda Revenue Authority Football Club leaves the country this Wednesday for Dar es Salaam, Tanzania to compete in the Sekafa Club Championship due to kick-off this Saturday. A team of 20 players will travel by road to Dar es Salaam, hoping to put up a good show and return home victorious. We are going to, for this tournament, we want to be the champion. We only want to be number one, so if you are number one, we are the champion. The preparations uh, were good. Uh, bad thing, we have many new players. So, and uh, we played only one friendly game, uh, but I think uh, the coordination is there. I, I see the movement is good, so I think we shall manage to qualify from the group stages. Although Coach Isabel is hopeful to receive the international transfer certificate for former professional player Owen Kasure, at the same time is losing Vincent Kayizi, who is expected to leave the country for professional trials in Europe. Vincent Kajizi had a contract of one year which has expired. Uh, he's a good player. We shall be missing uh, Vincent Kajizi obviously, but uh, he has uh, other good teams outside Uganda, so I think he'll be leaving Uganda in time from now. Meanwhile, striker Robert Sentong has been given a big boost ahead of the championship after he was made third in command after Simon Masaba and Sam Mubiru. You are a start their Sekafa title campaign on Monday 16th against home side Simba Football Club. Twelve clubs from the East and Central African region are taking part in the championship. Sam Poza, NTV Sport. 
Now, Mbarara Stars have won the City Tires Football Championships title for the Mbarara region following the disqualification of Fukam Football Club. The champions lost to Fukam 7 0 before beating Bushenyi 4 1 and then settled for a 1 0 draw against Young Express in the pre preliminary rounds. However, Mbarara Stars gained three points after Fukam were disqualified after fielding an ineligible player. The games played at the Barra University of Science and saw Young Express beat Busheni 4-1 before drawing the eventual champions 1-1. The Barra Stars have now qualified to play in the final round of the championships to be on f played on the on July 21st. Although they lost all their games, Busheni United were voted the most disciplined team of the tournament. Now, Ndeje men's volleyball team faltered their chances of rising to the first three places of the ongoing National Volleyball League after losing to Tigers in a tightly contested match. Ndeje, who had to return from a set down to be to level in the second set, then gave away the third set and once again recovered in the fourth but failed to win the tiebreaker. The Luero boys were later trounced by the rampaging Nemo Stars by three set straight sets before Nkumba beat KAVC by three sets to one. Meanwhile, in the ladies' games, KAVC beat the KCC's second team by three sets to nil before losing to Nemo Stars by the same sets margin. KCC star beat Mulago three sets to zero before Ndeje women thrashed Nemo Stars three sets to nil. Ndeje tonight remain on top of the women's league as Nkumba topped the men's table with just one point ahead of Nemo Stars. Now finally in NTV Sport for tonight and on the international scene, Roger Federer ended Britain's hopes of a first Wimbledon men's singles title in 76 years after beating Andy Murray. The Swiss master equaled, equaled Pete Sampras's seven titles in the tournament. I, I, I think um, the, the comparing the generations and the eras and the amateurs before and the professionals now, it, it is impossible to, to compare anyway in the first place. And, our life has started been dominating by the media who you know say okay you have to achieve this you have to break that record and you have to move on and then you know you haven't won this yet so please do that that's not how it works we i I, will, I didn't come into this game to achieve everything all i wanted is to have fun doing it um, live a dream from a little since a little boy Chelsea captain John Terry racially abused QPR's Anton Ferdinand in response to taunts about his alleged affair with the teammate's ex-girlfriend, a court heard on the first day of the pair's racism row trial. Terry is accused of a racially aggravated public order offence during a Buckley's Premier League match on October 23rd last year, which was broadcast to millions of people. The court heard that Terry maintains he was only sarcastically repeating words that Ferdinand wrongly thought he had used. In motorsport, Lewis Hamilton was in pole position for the Olympic torch relay on Monday morning. The Formula One star was the first to pick up the flame on its leg from Luton to Oxford on the 52nd day of its journey to the London Games. Hamilton missed out on carrying the Golden Torch through his own town of Stevenage on Sunday because he was competing in the British Grand Prix at Silverstone. <music> Just before I leave you, Manchester City manager Roberto Mancini has signed a new five-year contract with the Premier League champions. That's all the spot we had for you. Back to you, Gabriel and Faith. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you, Joel. Joel Kamari. Now for a look at tomorrow's weather prospects. <laughs> Okay, as we wind up tonight's bulletin, let's revisit our poll question for tonight. And we ask, do you support the High Court's decision that the leadership wrangles between the mayor and executive director can only be resolved by KCCA leadership? The final poll result is out. 58% of our respondents are saying yes, while 42% of you say no. Well, we thank you so much for all your comments tonight. Let's now sample some of them. 
Okay, uh, Khalifa Nicholas, you say no. The High Court is aware that there is actually more than meets the eye. The executive director was put there intentionally to suppress the mayor and his decision making. And Edmund Mata says the Supreme Court is just folding its arms and putting its tail between its legs. It lacks the nerve to state the obvious. And uh, Sarah Nakazana, you say, I think KCCA should resolve its leadership wrangles without the interference of the High Court. So I say no. And uh, Aldin here says there is a chronic lack of teamwork in almost all spheres of leadership in the country. And this is this role happens to be the best example right now. They should purpose to pursue unity for the good of the people who have entrusted them with faith in their ability to mitigate public issues, not to use their authority to stamp each other. Okay, one thing is for sure that uh, Lukwago and Musisi have to find a way to work together in order to uh, have the city's issues resolved in an amicable manner. Well, that concludes NTV tonight. Thank you so much for well, watching. Well, thank you, and I'll be back at 11.30 for a final roundup of the day's news. But for now, we thank you so much for watching. I am Faith Eriho. And Gabriel Peno, have a good night. In Star Profile today, we look at IJ's other half, Irene Namubiru. She had her education at Mitiana Senior Secondary School, Bugema Adventist, after which she continued to Namasagali College, where she did a lot of singing. During her senior four of VAC, she met Ragadi, expressing her ambitions to sing. She did an audition and joined the homies, which consisted of Ragadi, DJ Messi and Irene. Altogether, the trio released their first single, Bamusa Kata. Irene had her first concert on the 17th September 1995 and that was her first time to hit the entertainment headlines in the local papers. At this point she decided to do music professionally and earn money from it. But at the same time she also knew that she had to continue with her education. When she was done with school she joined a live band where they used to perform mainly at corporate functions. In 1999 she joined Juliana Kanyomozi, her former schoolmate at Namasagali College and together they formed the R&B all-girl group called IJ. In 2000 they released a single track album titled Vive La Vie which they never sold but launched nonetheless one month after which she left for France thus disbanding the group. While in France, she formed the Afro Soul group Nujeli in 2001 with the help of Julien Grout, releasing songs like Nsanji, Echo. Later on, Irene joined forces with singer Baby Cool in the song Simbalala, among many others. The songs enjoyed critical acclaim and moderately good airplay in Uganda. However, Irene didn't achieve widespread success until 2006 when she released her album, which won the R&B single category in 2006 at the Palm Award. Since then, turning back has never been an option for Irene, who has released hit song after hit, which have earned her several leading awards in the Uganda music industry. In 2011, Irene capped the most successful year ever by winning in four categories of the 2011 Palm Awards. She won in the categories of Artist of the Year, Female Artist of the Year, Album of the Year, and Best R&B Single of the Year. The mother of 
too has, besides singing as a profession, made making friends her specialty as she becomes the first Ugandan to rub shoulders with Ronaldinho, one of the best footballers in the world. In Star Profile today, we look at IJ's other half, 